Hi, and welcome to today's class. Hope you had a great weekend. And today's theme is going to be lengthening Sai body long, which is part of the whole Anusara tradition that I practice. So there's five principles of alignment in Anusara. These principles start with one really important one, which is open to grace, which is opening up your entire body, particularly the upper body and the heart. And we start by lengthening through the side body. So we're going to start by sitting comfortably on top of a bolster or some blocks in Siddhasana or within the cross-legged position. And the reason we sit on a bolster or some blocks is so that we can tip our pelvis forward. This allows us to lengthen up towards the sky. And we're going to place our thumbs underneath the crease of our armpits, rise through the crown of the head, squeeze our shoulder blades together. And then release our hands. And we'll start with some pranayama. So with each inhale, extend up towards the sky, lengthening through the spine. And with each exhale, soften. So as you inhale, breathe into the back of the body to support your muscles, support your lungs, support yourself. And as you exhale, soften through your shoulders, your neck, your jaw. Every time you inhale, enjoy the feeling of the breath, feeling your lungs, Filling your belly, expanding through you, making space within you. And as you exhale, soften. Ensure that your exhales are longer than your inhales. By doing so, your body will start to relax and prepare itself for its yoga practice. So you'll be able to connect to your body from the inside out, through the breath. And don't worry if your mind moves this way or that if there are aches or soreness or anything tight, just acknowledge it, embrace it, and direct your breath to that area. And you don't even have to close your eyes. You can keep them open. Just soften your gaze. And while you're here, 
turn your gaze inwards to your body, yourself, your emotions, your sensations, and what you need today, whether you need to move in a strong manner, whether you need to wake up, whether you need to rest, attune back to your body while you breathe. And with your eyes and your gaze still soft, place your hands on your knees, round your back, Takuchinanda. And on the next inhale, as you lift up through the chin, rise through the crown of the head, extend up through the spine. Exhale, round your back, tuck your chin. Inhale, rise through your, the crown of your head. Lift up through your heart. Exhale, round your back, tuck your chin. Inhale, extend your, the crown of your head up to the sky. Lengthen through your spine. Exhale, round your back, tuck your chin. Inhale, lift up again. Exhale, round your back, tuck your chin. Inhale, lift up once again, extending out through the spine. And on the next exhale, start making circles, lowering through the right side. And as you inhale, lifting through the left. Rise lower through the right, left and rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale and rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale and rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale and rise. Exhale, lower, 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 inhale and rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale and rise. Inhale and return to center. And on your next exhale, lower through the left side and inhale, rising through the right. Exhale, lower through the left. Inhale, rise through the right. Exhale, lower through the left. Inhale, rise through the right. Exhale, lower. Inhale and rise and return to center once again. Now walk your fingertips in front of you, lifting up through the heart, lengthening through the sides of your body, lifting up through your armpits. And as you exhale and you find your limit, lower your head. If you have a block, place it underneath your head to rest your forehead. And we're going to be here for about 30 seconds. Just allow yourself to relax through your neck, your shoulders, your middle back, your lower back. With each inhale, feel the back of your body, the back of your lungs. With each exhale, Allow your hips to get heavy. Let your hips sink into the ground. Let your legs sink into the ground. Lengthen each inhale. 
expanding through your back. And with each exhale, soften your spine, your back, the muscles in the back. Next inhale, slide your hands under your shoulders, lift your heart up, lift your arms to the sky. And as you exhale, lower both hands, straddling your left knee, turn your heart to your left knee and walk your fingertips forward, twisting at the ribs, extending your heart over your left knee. And as you exhale, lower head and shoulders, Shift your weight towards your right hip. So you keep your weight even. And while you're here, breathe into the right side of the body. Walk your left fingertips further to the left and your right fingertips further to the right. And you can also bring the block and place it under your forehead. to support your neck and shoulders so they can relax fully. And we're here for 30 seconds. Slide your hands under your shoulders and slowly lift yourself back upright. Inhale, lift your arms to the sky, come back to center, release them to the sides. With the next inhale, rise through the crown of your head, lift up through the heart. And on your next inhale, lift your arms high, turn to face your right knee and lower your fingertips to the ground, straddling your right knee. Walk your fingertips forward, Twist at the ribs so that your heart is facing the right knee. And then lower head and shoulders. You can use a block. Place it below your forehead so you can relax your neck and shoulders. And with each exhale, allow yourself to relax. Sink down through your left hip. With each inhale, fill the left side of the body. Walk your right fingertips further to the right and your left fingertips further to the left. Until both sides are equally lengthened, making space for your spine, your upper body, your heart, your shoulders. And with each inhale, breathe into the left side of the body. With each exhale, sink down through your left hip, soften through the left side, soften through your spine, 
soften at the ribs. On the next inhale, slide your hands back under your shoulders. Lift your chest up and change the cross of your legs. This time, ensure that your shins are fully parallel and that your heels are in line with your knees. To do so, you might want to move them further away from you like that. So it's a bit of a longer cross-legged position as opposed to a wider one. Lift your right arm up to the sky, slide your left hand to the left, bend the elbow and stretch your right arm overhead. Exhale, sink your right hip down. Inhale, lift your heart to the sky. Bring your right cheek to your right armpit. Exhale, twist at the ribs further to the sky. Inhale, fill the right side of the body. And as you exhale, sink your right hip further down. On your next inhale, pull yourself back to center, lowering your hand to the ground. Inhale, lift your left hand up, slide your right hand to the right, lower your elbow to the ground. Turn to face the sky. On the exhale, sink your left hip down, turn your heart to the sky. Feel the left side of the body as you inhale. And as you exhale, sink your left hip down. Inhale, fill your left lung, left side of the lung, your left ribs, the left side of your waist. And as you exhale, sink that left hip down. On the next inhale, lift up through Lift up through the heart, release your hands to the front and come to all fours. So now that our upper body is warm, we'll start with tucking our toes under, lifting up to downward dog, extending up through the hips with our knees bent, our heels raised, pushing our heart to our knees. So walk your feet a little bit further behind for a longer dog. As you can see, the first dog was very short. That will make your back round. So if you want to extend and lengthen through the spine, you need to round, lift up through the heels, bend the knees and walk the feet a bit further behind. And then extend your heels down towards the ground. Lift up through the armpits, roll your biceps out. Push down through the balls of the feet. Extend down through your heels. On the next inhale, slide forward into plank. Lift up through the hips. Extend back through the heels, firm through your core. Lengthen the whole way from your armpits down towards your heels. And as you exhale, lower down, point your feet. Slide your hands outside the mat, roll your biceps back. Inhale, sweep your heart forward into cobra. Bend the elbows, squeezing them in towards the center of the body. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Rise through the crown of the head, press the tops of your feet on the ground. And on the exhale, lower down. Slide your hands next to your ribs, tuck your toes under and push yourself back to downward dog. Roll your biceps out, extend your hips to the sky. Push down through your feet, up through your hips. Mm -hmm. 
spread your fingers wide, pressing the knuckles of your fingers strongly into the ground. Point your left, your four fingers forward, spreading your thumbs, spreading every other finger wide, making a strong and steady foundation for you. And you might wanna have a block handy at the front. Step your right foot forward between your hands, coming into a lunge. Squeeze your right hip back, left hip forward. Come up onto your fingertips. And then on the inhale, step forward to the front of the mat, lower head and shoulders. Inhale, come up halfway, hands on your shins or up on your thighs, whichever helps to extend further through your spine, through the back. Exhale and lower back down. I'm going to repeat this three times. So as you inhale, extend forward halfway. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, extend forward halfway. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, extend forward halfway. Exhale, lower down. Bend your knees, step your right foot back behind you. Come to your fingertips. Lift up through the hips, squeeze your left hip back, right hip forward. Plant your hands, step back to plank. Exhale, lower down, point your feet. Slide your hands outside the mat, roll your biceps away from your body. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, press the tops of your feet on the ground. Inhale, sweep your heart forward, coming into seal. It's not actually cobra. Bring your elbows in towards your ribs. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Allow your spine to relax and lengthen, bringing space between your hips and your armpits. Exhale and lower back down. Slide your hands next to your body. Tuck your toes under and push yourself back to downward dog. Once again, check your hands. Press down through the, your knuckles. Distribute the weight evenly through your hands. Roll your biceps out. Roll your thighs in and back. If you feel your back rounding, lift your heels up, bend the knees. On your next inhale, step forward to the front of the mat, lower head and shoulders. Inhale, come up halfway. Squeeze your legs into the middle. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, firm through the core. And on the next inhale, stand up, release your arms. Exhale, soften through the shoulders, soften through the neck. Now grab a block, place it between your thighs, and then step your feet closer together. Make sure that your feet are parallel, your knees are tracking directly over the middle toes. Roll your thighs in and back, check for a little lower back curve, and then extend your tailbone down. Release your arm, keep the activation through your core, keep the activation through your thighs, and if they're not active, lift your toes and you'll feel your thighs firm. Lower the toes, keeping that activation, grip the ground. Inhale, give me a superhero chest. And as you exhale, keep the length through the side of the body, but soften your shoulder blades away from your ears. On the next inhale, lift your arms to the sky. And as you exhale, hinge forward, keeping the activation through the core. Lower your fingertips to the ground. If you need to, bend your knees so you can reach the ground. On the next inhale, slide your hands up your shins, extend forward. Squeeze that block, exhale, lower down. On the next inhale, pull the block away and step back to downward dog. Roll your biceps out, press down through each of your knuckles. Look at your hands, make sure that there's no space between the floor and your fingers or the floor in your palms. Roll your thighs in and back. Lift your hips high. Lift up through the armpits. Roll the biceps out. Make space between your shoulder blades. And on the next inhale, come forward into plank. Exhale and lower down. Point your feet, slide your hands outside the mat. Roll your biceps back, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Inhale, extend forward and up. Exhale, lower back down. Now plant your hands next to your ribs. Squeeze your elbows into the middle, rolling the biceps out, 
Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Inhale, sweep your heart forward into full cobra. Exhale, lower back down. Tuck your toes under. Push yourself back to downward dog. Roll your biceps out. Roll your thighs in. Extend your hips to the sky. And as you inhale, breathe through the back body, extending through the sides of the body, lengthening from your armpits to your hips. On the next inhale, step your left foot forward between your hands, coming into a lunge. Squeeze your left hip back, right hip forward. Grab a block, place it underneath your right hand. Place your left hand on your left hip. Check that your hips are level with your front knee, that your back heel is lifted and turn to face the left. Lean your shoulders back, lean your head back. Inhale, lift your left arm to the sky. Look at your left thumb. If you can't see your thumb, you've gone too far back. Roll your right bicep out. Lift away from your right hand so that you're not dumping your weight onto your right hand. On the exhale, lower your left fingertips to the ground, move the block away and step forward to the front of the mat. Lower head and shoulders. Inhale, slide your hands up your shins and extend forward. Exhale, lower back down. Plant your hands, step back to downward dog. Roll your biceps out. Push up to the hips. And on the next inhale, step your right foot forward between your hands coming into a lunge. Squeeze your right hip back, left hip forward. Grab the block, place it under your left hand. Place your right hand on your right hip and turn to face the right. Lean your shoulders back, lean your head back. Push yourself away from your left hand and then extend your right arm to the sky. Look up at your right thumb. Lean your head back, lean your shoulders back. Open up, lengthen from your right armpit to your right hip, making space in the spine between the shoulder blades. Exhale, lower your hand down. Move your, your block aside and step forward to the front of the mat, lower head and shoulders. Inhale, slide your hands up your shins, extend forward. Squeeze your legs into the middle, hands to your hips. Firm through the core and on the inhale, stand up, release your arms. Close your eyes and feel the difference from side to side. On your next inhale, lift your toes, roll your thighs into the middle, squeeze your shins towards each other, and then lower your toes down, gripping the ground, keeping the activation through the core and the thighs. Exhale, soften your shoulder blades away from your ears. Inhale, give me a superhero chest. Exhale, keep that chest, but soften your shoulder blades. Inhale, lift your arms to the sky. Exhale, hinge forward, touch the ground, lower head and shoulders. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to downward dog. Roll your biceps out, roll your thighs in and back. Extend your hips to the sky. Inhale, come forward into plank. Exhale, lower down. Point your feet. Roll your biceps out. Press down through the tops of the feet and your hips. And on the inhale, sweep your heart forward into cobra. Let your spine just soften down towards the ground, let your hips soften to the ground. Keep the pressure of your feet on the ground and use your breath to be buoyant. Rise, exhale, lower back down. Tuck your toes under, push yourself back to downward dog. Roll your biceps out, extend your hips to the sky. And you might want two blocks up here. Inhale, step your right foot forward between your hands. Lower your left heel to the ground so your left foot is parallel to the short edge of the mat. Place your left hand on your right hip, your right forearm on your right thigh and turn to face the left. Shift your weight down to your back foot and raise your left arm up overhead, coming into side angle pose. While you're here, check that your knee is directly above your heel. 
So it's not in front, not behind, not to the right, not to the left. Turn your head up to look at your arm. Bring your left cheek to your left armpit. Push down through your left foot. Let it take the weight as you stretch out through your left fingertips. On the exhale, lower your fingertips to the ground. Lift your back heel up, step forward to the front of the mat. Lower head and shoulders. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, step your right foot back behind you, coming into a lunge. Lower your right heel to the ground. So the right foot's parallel to the short edge of the mat. Place your right hand on your right hip, your left forearm on your left thigh and turn to face the right. Shift your weight back to your right foot and then lift your right arm overhead, coming into side angle pose. Think about the back leg. Shift all of your weight onto that foot. Turn the whole leg in towards the center. That will move your hips forward. Now think about your ribs and turn the ribs, keeping the hips where they are, up to the sky. As you exhale, shift all your weight back onto the right foot. Extend out through your right fingertips as you inhale. And on the exhale, lower your fingertips to the ground. Lift your back heel up. Step forward to the front of the mat. Lower head and shoulders. Grab a block, place it between your calves. Heel to your feet closer together until they're parallel and so close together, it's almost not an effort to hold the block. Roll your thighs in and then squeeze the block. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, come up halfway. Place your hands on your hips. Squeeze through the core and on the inhale, stand up. Release your arms. Rise through the crown of the head. Inhale, lift your arms to the sky. Exhale, hinge forward, touch the ground, lower head and shoulders. Move the block aside. Step your right foot back behind you. Lower your back heel to the ground so your right foot's parallel to the short edge of the mat. Place your right hand on your right hip, left forearm on your left thigh. Turn to face a right and lift your right arm overhead. Coming into side angle pose. Once again, roll your back thigh in, turn your ribs to the sky. On the inhale, pull yourself up into warrior two. Bend your front knee, shift your weight back onto your right leg. Keep turning that thigh in so you'll see that your hips come forward. Once again, rise through the crown of the head, make space in your torso and turn your ribs to the right. Look over your left fingertips. Soften your shoulder blades away from your ears. Inhale, rise through the crown of the head. Exhale, soften those shoulder blades down. On the next exhale, lower your fingertips to the ground. Lift your back heel up and step forward to the front of the mat. Lower head and shoulders. Place the block between your calves again. Squeeze the block with your calves. Inhale, come up halfway. Place your hands on the sides of your hips, firm through the core. Inhale and stand up, release your arms. Keep squeezing the block as you roll your thighs in. Point your tailbone down towards the ground slightly. Keep squeezing that block. That will activate through your quads, through your core. Inhale, lift your arms to the sky. Exhale, hinge forward. Touch the ground, keeping the activation through the legs. Grab the block, place it to one side and step your left foot back behind you, coming into a lunge. Pivot your left heel to the ground. Place your left hand on your left hip, right forearm on your right side. Turn to face the left, then your shoulder back and then extend your left arm overhead. Shift your weight back, turn your left thigh in. On the next inhale, windmill your arms up into warrior two. Bend your front knee, slide your hips back, all your weight back and soften your shoulder blades away from your ears. Inhale, extend up through the spine. Exhale, bend the front knee. Inhale and lean back towards the left. Turn your ribs to the left while your hips are turning to the right. On the exhale, lower your fingertips to the ground. Lift your back heel up. Step forward to the front of the mat. Lower head and shoulders. 
place a block between your, your calves, squeeze the block with your calves, inhale, come up halfway, exhale, and lower down, hands to your hips, inhale, come up halfway, squeeze the block firm through the core, and on the inhale, stand up, release your arms. Inhale, give me a superhero chest. Exhale, soften your shoulder blades down, keeping the superhero chest. Inhale, lift your arms to the sky. Exhale, hinge forward, touch the ground, lower head and shoulders. Move the block aside and step your right foot back behind you, coming into a lunge. Lower your back knee to the ground, your back heel to the ground, right hand to right hip. And then it, grab a block. Place it just behind your left heel. Extend your left leg, turn to face the right. Lift your chest away from the block coming up onto your fingertips. Turn your back thigh in. So your hips are facing forward, but firming through the core and turning up to the sky. At the ribs, lift your right arm to the sky. Roll your biceps back, lean your shoulders back, lean your head back, lean your hips back. And while you're here, press down through the ball of the right foot, the heel of your left foot, press down through your left toes. Exhale, lower your right hand to your hip, bend your front knee, place your left forearm on your left thigh, turn to face the right, lift your right arm overhead. And on the next inhale, windmill your arms back, into warrior two, turn the back thigh in, bend the front knee, lean back, look over your fingertips. Exhale, lower your right hand down, lift your left arm up, coming into revolved warrior. Soften your shoulder blades down your back. On the exhale, lower both fingertips to the ground, lift your back heel up, step forward to the front of the mat, lower head and shoulders. Once again, grab the block, place it between your calves. Squeeze the block with your calves. Inhale, come up halfway. Grab your hips with both hands. Inhale and come up. Exhale, release. Inhale, give me a superhero chest. Exhale, soften those shoulder blades down your back, keeping the superhero chest firm through your core. Press down through your feet. Inhale, lift your arms to the sky. Exhale, hinge forward. Touch the ground, lower head and shoulders. Inhale, come up halfway, move the block aside. Step your left foot back behind you, pivot the left heel to the ground, left hand to your left hip. Grab a block with your right hand and place it behind your right heel. Extend your right leg, come up onto the fingertips of your right hand, turn to face the left, roll your back thigh in. Turn your ribs to the sky and then extend your left arm to the sky. Now push down through your right foot. Shift your weight onto your left foot. Lean your shoulders back, lean your hips back. On the exhale, lower your right hand to your right hip. To your, sorry, your left hand to your left hip. Bend the front knee. Place your right forearm on your right thigh and turn to face the left. Inhale, lift your left arm overhead, coming into side angle pose. Turn that back thigh in once again and turn your heart and ribs to the sky. On the next inhale, windmill yourself up into warrior two. Soften your shoulder blades away from your ears and bend the front knee. Exhale, lower your left hand down. Inhale, lift your right arm up. Exhale, bend the front knee. On the next exhale, lower your fingertips to the ground, move the blocks aside and lift your back heel up, step forward to the front of the mat, lower head and shoulders. Bend your knees and let, allow yourself to rest on your thighs for a moment. If you feel like you need more support, grab the block, place it between your calves, bend the knees deeply, resting your chest on your knees. And we're here for a few breaths. So take your time while you're here.
inhale, come up halfway. Bring the blocks alongside. Step your right foot back behind you. Pivot your right heel to the ground. Stretch your front leg. Place your right hand on your right hip. And then bring that block alongside your left knee. Turn to face the right. Lean your shoulders back, roll your thigh in and back and lift your right arm to the sky. Lift away from your, from your left hand. Look up to your right hand. Keep it active. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Plug your right arm into your right shoulder really strongly. On the exhale, lower your right hand to your right hip. Bend the front knee. Place the block further forward and then walk your right foot halfway forward. You can either lower the block to a lower setting or keep it high. And if you've done this before, you can just raise, you can just raise your back leg, coming into half moon pose. So open through the hips, turning them up to the right. Roll your right thigh in, press back through your right foot and then lift your right arm to the sky. If you've never done this, I will walk you through it. So those of you who have done this, lower your back foot down and then step back up. So we'll start measuring the distance from the wall. So what you'll do is you just lift your leg up, see how far the wall is, and then turn your left foot out. Bring your right foot back, lower your block down, and then lift your back leg up, straightening through the front leg. Look for the wall. Press the sole of your foot against the wall. Turn your hips to the sky. Lift your right arm to the sky. On the inhale, press down through the left foot. Lifting your weight away from your left leg. Firm through the core. Look up at your right hand. On the exhale, lower your right hand to your right hip. Bend the front knee. Lower your right foot down. Then step forward to the front of the mat, lower head and shoulders. Inhale, come up halfway. Squeeze your legs into the middle. Grip your hips with your hands. And on the inhale, stand up, release your arms. Okay, so we're going to do the other side. So for the other side, you have two options, unassisted and assisted by the wall. Once again, what you need to do is lift your leg up until you reach the wall, wherever it reaches, because that's the height where your leg will be later. So if your leg only reaches this far, that's okay. So turn your right foot pointing forward. Your left foot is behind you. Bend the right knee. Place the block slightly forward of your right foot and lift your left leg up. Look for the wall. Press the wall with the sole of the left foot. Turn to face the left. Push down through your right foot, lifting your weight away so that you're actually defying gravity right now. Lengthen through the left side, extend out through the crown of your head, and then lift your left arm to the sky. Look up at your left arm, press down through your right foot, lifting your torso away. Use the wall so you can press all your weight into the wall and on the exhale, bend the front knee, lower the back foot down and stand up. Step forward to the front of your mat. So that's trikona, and that's half moon pose. With half moon pose, normally there's a few variations, but what we can do right now is just work on half moon pose. So we'll do it once more. You can do it with or without blocks. So if you don't have any blocks, you just measure the distance between your left leg and the wall. You can bring it down or higher up. Ideally, it should be no higher than your hip height because you're not going to lift much higher than that. 
there's two ways of coming into it, the way I showed you before and this way. So you place your fingertips on the ground with both fingertips down, bend your front knee, lift your back leg up, extend your left leg and then reach for the wall. Once you're there, place your right hand on your right hip, push down through your left hand and that will allow you to actually come off the ground. So press that wall away with the sole of your right foot. Turn your heart to the, to the right, roll your left thigh in, keep pushing down with your right arm to the sky. Exhale, lower your fingertips to the ground, bend the front knee, lower the back leg down. Okay, so we'll do the other side now. And I'll do it. You'll see the back of me when I'm doing this. So once again, I measure the distance between my leg, my right leg and the wall. Turn my right toes out. Lower my fingertips to the ground. Lift my back leg up. Flex the foot. Open through the hips and then reach for the wall. Once we're there, grab your left hip with your left hand, turn to face the left. Open the hips wider to the left. So lift up away from your right foot, pressing down on your right foot and then lift your left arm to the sky. Roll your biceps back, exhale, lower your fingertips to the ground. Bend the front knee, lower the back foot down. Step forward to the front of the mat, lower head and shoulders. And we're here for a few seconds. So allow your body to recalibrate once it's on the ground again. While you're here, open your legs wide, wider than your mat. Bend the knees, lower your hands to the mat. Slide your heels in towards the mat. Bend your knees, tracking them over your feet. And then sink down your hips, down between your legs, wherever they come to. Reach forward, allowing yourself to ground yourself. You've been flying before with us half moon pose. And now it's time to ground back down. This allows you to open through the hips, bring your connection back to the ground. And then bring your hands back behind you, lower your hips to the ground, extend your legs in front of you. If you have a strap with you, grab the strap, thread it around the balls of your feet and wind it around your hands so that it is tensed enough so that your arms are straight. Rise through the crown of your head, lift up through your heart, roll your thighs in, squeeze your shins towards each other, push the strap with the balls of your feet, lean back. Just lean back far enough that your shoulders are directly over your hips. Tuck your chin under. And we're going to hold this for about three or four breaths. On the exhale, hinge forward. Place your hands either on your shins, your thighs, or your feet, wherever they reach. Fold forward, allow your whole body just to reconnect with the ground. On your next inhale, slowly unfurl. 
bend your right knee, bring your right foot next to your left thigh. Once again, wind the strap around the ball of the left foot. Hold on to the strap with your right hand. Place your left fingertips outside your left hip. Ensure that there's enough tension in the strap that your arm is fully outstretched. But at the same time, your shoulder can come back even with the left shoulder. Push the strap and then think about your right leg. From the hip socket, roll your right thigh bone up towards the sky. Ground down through your left hip. As you inhale, expand up through your spine, lifting up through the heart. And as you exhale, soften your shoulder blades down. Keep the activation firmly through your core. And this is the beginning of a forward bend. Now, depending on your range, you might be able to walk your hand further forward, but keep a long spine, keep length through the side of your body so that you're lengthening from your armpit down to your hip. Keep rolling your thigh bone up and away from the ground. So up and away from the center. Keep turning your heart to the front. And when you feel you've reached your edge, that is before you start to round your back, stop. As you can see, this is my one of my edges. When you come here, this is the next. Your body will start to release wherever you find your edge. So when you find your edge, stay there. And breathe into the back of the body, softening consciously, melting through your back body. And eventually you'll be able to walk your hand up the strap and lower down, relaxing your shoulders and neck. Keep turning your heart to your left knee, shifting your weight to your left hip. Roll your right thigh bone up towards the sky. And on the next inhale, slowly lift up and then extend your right leg out, bend your left knee. Bring your left foot to your right thigh. Thread the strap around the ball of, the, of your right foot. Grab the strap with your left hand. Wind the strap around your hand and then ensure that, there's, that it's tense enough that both shoulders are even. So your left shoulder is not going to be forward of your right. Push the strap away with the ball of your right foot. Rise through the crown of the head, lean back, firm through the core. Let your center of gravity fall to your hips. Lift up through the sky. Slowly walk your hands up the strap, extending your heart forward until you reach your edge. Keep a long spine, keep your heart lifted. And just slide your head back, but tuck your chin under. So don't allow your head to lead here, allow your heart to lead forward until you find the edge. So you'll go millimeter by millimeter keeping a long spine, keeping length through the right side of the body and through the left side of the body. Once again, turn your attention to your left thigh bone. Roll that left thigh bone up towards the sky from within the hip socket. So imagine that it's kind of like a lever and you can turn it up and then shift your weight to your right leg. Walk your hands a little bit, a centimeter or a millimeter forward. Extend your heart forward. Exhale, lower down. When you reach your edge, relax your shoulders, relax your neck. Keep the activation through your thigh. 
keep rolling the left thigh bone up and away from the, the center of your body. And on the inhale, slowly come back up. Grab a ball, sell some blocks. And we're going to do a fire log pose for our hips. So you will need the blocks probably, I'm not sure. So cross your legs, start with one leg completely par parallel to one of the edges of the mat. And you're sitting a little bit further back like we did with Sukhasana, higher onto some blocks and then lift your left foot and place it over your right thigh just below the knee or just behind the knee. Check that your, your shins are parallel. So as you can see here, there's a gap between my left knee and my right heel. Flex your feet. That gap will close eventually. It may not close completely for you or it may. And it may not close in one session. I find that if I spend more time in a session doing it, the closer the gap gets. Do not push it, do not force it. Just make space in the rest of the body. So to do so, think about turning the right thigh bones away from the center like we did before. So imagine that there's like a ball and socket joint inside your hip, turn both legs away, both thigh bones away from the center. And when I do that, you see my knee comes down, right? So now the gap is only about that long instead of the full length of my palm. Shift all your weight over to the left side. And as you inhale, rise to the crown of the head. Grab a block, place it just next to your right, your left knee. Place your right hand on the block. If you have another block, grab that block and place it behind you. Lift up through the heart. Turn the ribs as you exhale over to the left. You'll notice that your knee will start to come down. Don't place your hand on the knee, place it on the block. Do not use your weight on your knee. Inhale, rise through the crown of the head. Exhale, turn further at the ribs. Look over your left knee. Keep your shoulders above your hips, neither forward nor back of them. Firm through the core. This pose is called Anji Stambhasana or Fire Log Pose. Normally is done straight, but this allows you to open up a little bit further. On the next inhale, rise through the crown of the head. Turn to the front and lower the block to the other side. Extend your legs out. Give them a good shake. Bend your right knee, your left knee. Cross your leg over the edge of the mat. So it's parallel to the edge of the mat. And then cross your right foot on top of your left thigh. Now this has to be just behind the knee with both feet flexed. And as you can see again, there's a big gap between my right knee and my left foot. That's okay, the same thing's about to happen. So think about your thigh bones and roll them out. See, immediately that gap begins to close. So now the gap is only about that wide. Bring a block and place it next to your right knee. Grab the other block with your right hand, lift up through the heart, lengthening through your spine and place your right, your left hand on the block. Inhale, lift up through the crown of your head. Exhale, turn at your ribs. With each inhale, make space in the spine and with each exhale, twist a little tiny millimeter. Look over your left, sorry, over your right knee. And as you can see, 
the gap begins to close slowly. Keep that activation through your thigh bones. So keep rolling the thigh bones away from the center. That will make space in your hips, opening through the front and the back of the hips. Make sure that your hand is on the block, not on your knee. Don't place weight onto that knee. We don't want to overstretch the, the whole area. And on the next inhale, come back to center, keeping the activation through your abs and then extend your legs out. Give them a good shake. Open your legs wide. Coming into Upavishta Konasana. And you can either sit up on a bolster on a, or a block just to tip your hips forward. This allows you to lift up through your spine, lift up through your heart, lengthen through the sides of your body. And if this is your limit, stay here. But if your limit is further forward, place your fingertips in front of you. Lift your heart forward, walk your fingertips forward until you find your edge. Flex your feet and then just turn your toes in. That will give you a little bit more space so you can walk your fingertips further forward and lift your heart up. With each exhale, allow your hips to soften. Dig down through your heels. The more you dig down through the heels, the more you squeeze your legs into the middle, the more space you make at the hips. Try and keep a long spine. So don't round your back, keep your shoulders back, keep your head back, come with your heart forward. Walk your hands a little bit further forward, even if it's just a millimeter, extend your heart forward, dig your heels down. Squeeze your legs into the middle, extend back through your tailbone, up through the crown of your head. Until you reach your final edge, it could either be on your forearms and if you don't reach, you can use the block for your forearms at whichever height. So you can relax here for about 30 seconds. And we stay there for 30 seconds. On your next inhale, squeeze your legs into the middle, lift your heart up. Move your blocks and your props aside. If you need a bolster underneath your legs, grab one. If you need a blanket, grab one. And then lower down onto the ground. Place a blanket over yourself. And lie back. Close your eyes or soften them. Clip your palms to the sky. Allow yourself to rest. Allow yourself to drift off sink into the ground and I will call you back after five minutes. Oh. 
Start moving your fingers and your toes. Squeeze your hands into fists and release them. Point your feet, flex them. And as you exhale, melt into the ground. Inhale, lift your arms up overhead, lowering them onto the ground. Exhale and melt your shoulders, melt your neck, melt your head. On the inhale, bend your knees, planting your feet on the ground. Exhale, melt the upper body. Move your knees side to side, bringing movement to your hips, to your spine. Almost like a windshield wiper, but really slowly, really mindfully. And on the next inhale, roll over onto the left side, using your left arm as a pillow. Exhale and melt into the ground. On your next inhale, help yourself up to sitting, coming to a comfortable cross-legged position. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. And lift up through the crown of your head. And as you exhale, soften between your shoulder blades. Fill your whole upper body with breath and thank yourself for looking after yourself today. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed today's class. And I will see you next time on the mat.